Today, I'm going to tell y'all how to build y'all personal credit. You got two different credits. You got business credit and personal credit. Today, I'm going to tell y'all how to build your bullshit-ass, low-ass credit score to an 800, at least to a 750. So a lot of you motherfuckers ain't going to do exactly what I tell you to do. It's a patience game. But look, here's the sauce on how to get an eight fucking hundred credit score. You did. First thing you got to do, you got to download an app where you can pull your credit report, your credit summary. I use Credit Karma, personally myself, but they got Credit Sesame, they got Experian, they got numerous uh, apps, FICOs and all of that. You feel what I'm saying? First, you got to pull your credit report, right? You have to see what's on there. So you can see what you need to dispute, the collections, the late payments, if any. You may not have any of this. If you don't have any of this, that is a great thing. But most people do. They can go anywhere from student loans to child support. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't even know what's on there. A lot of times it be false information. Maybe they made a mistake. Maybe people use your identity. It'd be a lot of stuff on there. I had over 20 something different collections and negative shit on my credit report when I first started. I was at like a 450. You understand what I'm telling you? No fucking bullshit. Mm -mm. Number two, y'all got to understand how credit work. How do credit work? It's three different credit bureaus. Some primary trade lines, some credit cards don't report to credit bureaus. Some report to one, some report to two, some report to all three. You want to do things that report to all three. That way you can stay even. You won't have a 450 over here, a 550 over here, and a 550 over there. You feel what I'm saying? Because they all come up to make a FICO score. And that's what most companies, most loan places, most people look at is your FICO score. You feel what I'm saying? So... You have three credit bureaus. You got to understand how that work. You got to understand how disputing something work. You got to understand how mixed credit work. You got to understand that you need primary trade lines. You need uh, different credit cards. Um, that's a good thing. Um, credit history is a good thing. Having zero to three months credit history really show credit bureaus that you don't know how to manage or you new to this. So a lot of people not going to give you something, even if you got a good credit score. You feel what I'm saying? It it, 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 it adds up uh, with inquiries um, that come with disputing things and everything. You have to understand how it works. What is an inquiry? An inquiry is like when you apply for a new loan or uh, a new credit card or uh, uh, a new phone or something and you get denied or they they approve of it what companies do they report that so an inquiry mean you're trying to get something and if it's a bad inquiry the inquiry just let other companies know that you tried to get like okay for example let's say you're trying to get a new iphone right i just got this little iphone right here all right just got this new little iphone all right look all right, peep this. This is exactly how it works. Let's say I try to get an iPhone T-Mobile and they denied me. That right there let um that let Sprint, that let Verizon, that let all those people know that they denied me. So they might want to do the same thing as well. I don't know if inquiry is just looking out for other businesses or whatever when you know they they not looking for each other's best interests. But that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. But that's what I mean by you got to know how credit work. Number two, you cannot skip that step. You cannot skip that step. You got to know how something work. So number one, y'all, you got to pull it to see what you're working with. Number two, that off of that, you got to learn how credit work. If you know you need stuff that needs to be disputed, you got to learn where to dispute it from. What y'all got to understand is you can dispute something from TransUnion. That ain't got a damn thing to do with equal facts or experience. You have to dispute that shit from different credit bureaus. You can have a 450 in this credit bureau and you can have a 750 in this credit bureau. You understand? Like, y'all got to understand, it's a big difference. And just because you have a 750 or a 770 or something like that or 700 or 690 or whatever in the high sixes or the low to the high 70s to the 800, 
whatever your credit score is, if you got a, if you got certain things like a lot of inquiries or, or you have things like uh, uh, not enough mixed credit or not enough payment history or uh, 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 things like that, you can still get denied for things. That's what people got to understand. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all going to trip to hear number three, though. Number three, while you're getting your shit disputed and you're waiting on disputions and shit, I know exactly, I'm talking about exactly how to dispute things. I, I, I mean, I made a course. I sell a course. If you're interested in the course, look at the description. The description got my merch. The description has my books. The description has my music. The description has everything. It even have in the description how to get the credit repair. It's called a credit repair sheet. You feel what I'm saying? And that way y'all don't got to keep rewinding this video going back or you can just get this free sauce for free, but y'all know I added a little something in the credit sauce. You know, you know that's a little bit more detail for the people that you know, you know, know that that'll come off some bread. They're really serious about the shit. You feel what I'm saying? But what I say after you disputing everything and you waiting on that shit and you waiting on those inquiries to come off of there, because all is gonna come off of there, especially if you get my course. But all that shit gonna come off of there, right? So. After that shit coming off of there, you need to get two secured credit cards. What is secured credit cards? Unsecured and secured, what is the difference? A uh, unsecured credit card, meaning you didn't have to pay anything down. The company is um, basically trusting you with a credit limit, whether it's $500, $200 to $5,000, whatever, from the minimum to the maximum. You feel what I'm saying? That's not the minimum. That's not the maximum. You feel what I'm saying? But um, I was just throwing out numbers to give y'all an example. I like to do that a lot. So anyway, um, that's what an unsecured credit card is. A secured credit card is when your credit is bad and they do not trust you. Or you just don't want credit. You don't want nobody to throw it to you. You feel what I'm saying? I think of things from a street aspect. It's just like you're going to get a pound. You feel what I'm saying? Or you're going to get an ounce, a hard or something. And you rather get in the money up front because you don't want to owe this man. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just what a secured card is. You're paying up front for it. You feel what I'm saying? And now you can do whatever you want with it. You feel what I'm saying? Well, not really. But I explained that. I'm going to explain that. We're on step three. But you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you get a pack off the street, you just can't smoke it all or give it away if you're trying to make a profit. So you can't just do what you want with it. But it's yours, so you really can. But if you owe a man, you got to at least make sure you get his money back and, and, and handle it a certain way and build your trust. So a secured credit card is when they basically don't trust you, but they're trying to gain trust. And that secured will turn to an unsecured. It depends on what card company you with and what you're doing. Some card companies, they don't increase your credit limit. They don't let you go from a secured to an unsecured. You got to know who you're dealing with. Like, for instance, I detailed that in the sauce. But see, right now, I tell y'all who I'm dealing with, Capital One. That is an awesome, a awesome company. And you can't get places like American Express and shit and, and, you know, Apple Pay and shit until you up, up, up. You feel what I'm saying? Um, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to that, but when it comes to these cards, it's, a, it's something serious with these cards. It's called card utilization. You feel what I'm saying? It's depth. It's depth to income ratio. You got to understand that. And y'all, y'all got to give me my props. I don't have no chalkboard. I don't have a marker board. I don't have a paper in front of me. I'm just freestyling this off the top. This all off knowledge. So y'all know I'm not capping. So, so what I want y'all to do is keep your core utilization low. Most people say stay under forty percent. Fuck that. Stay under forty percent if you want your credit score to stay low. If you don't want it to boost fast, I say stay under ten percent. What is debt to income ratio? What is card utilization? What am I talking about? What the fuck do that mean? All right, let me tell y'all what the fuck that means. I like to simplify things on this channel. What the fuck that means is simply this, you guys. It's simply this. This all that this means. It's all that this means. If your card is two hundred dollars, that's the credit limit, right? You have a secured credit card. Or unsecured, this go for each one of them. And this take a big impact on your credit score. A big impact on your credit score. All right. 
like if you got two hundred dollars on a card, forty percent of be using like eighty dollars, seventy to eighty dollars, somewhere around there, and you're not in trouble with card utilization. But it's really your card. You can do what you want to do. But if you're trying to make your credit score boost up real high, keep it under 10%. What is 10%? If you have a $200 credit card, try to only spend $20 and keep it under there. And keep it under there. Because at a, everybody has their own date that your card report to the credit bureau. So get a card that report to all three credit bureaus. I already explained it to y'all. Get a card that will increase. Why you want the credit limit to increase? Because let's say now that they done trust you they they now you got an unsecured credit card for 600 now you can spend 60 but you really can spend damn um you really can spend damn near 300 dollars 200 for sure you feel what i'm saying but i say don't test that don't play with it don't don't play with it why would you play with your credit fuck that but you have to use these cards. A lot of people get this game from bad man, Kevo, and money man, people that's already rich that really don't need it like that. But you do need it because when you get a lot of cash like we had and we have, when you get a lot of cash, you realize that credit means a lot. You, it's a lot that you can't do with cash. And it's a lot that you can't do with credit. So if you have both of them together, then you're a powerhouse. It's nothing that you cannot do. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so that's the third step. But like I said, this video, I'm try trying to make this video 30 minutes long. So like I said, I'm not, I, I can give a fuck less, y'all. I'm already hood rich. I'm not wealthy, but I'm already hood rich. I can give a fuck less, y'all, by the course. I'm not trying to sell a course. I'm just telling y'all, before y'all blow up my DMs asking me personal questions and asking me questions about personal goddamn sauce and personal uh, uh, um, credit sauce and all that shit, I'd rather y'all just spend a couple of bucks and y'all just get the credit sauce because what that do, that lets you see things and details and you can go back to it. You can mark it off. You can screenshot it. You can print it out. You can really, really, really focus on that. You feel what I'm saying? All right. We finna get to step number four. You did. Step number four. You have to get primary trade lines. And what's more important or just important is primary trade lines. I would call them little trade lines, but they call them, um, I forgot, I forgot exactly what they call them, but it's little stuff like self lender. Um, it's little stuff like kickoff. Um, it's little stuff like that. Those are, um, companies, companies that give you personal loans that you don't actually get right now. You'll get it a year or two from now. I detailed that, you know, in the sauce, but anyway, you feel what I'm saying? But you still pay on that loan. Like, for instance, self-lender. Let's say you got a self-lender account and they give you a $2,000 loan. So you pay like $30 a month to build your credit. Then after the two years up or the year up, whatever you sign up for, you take your $2,000. And you can either do it again or you can just leave with it. But it's building your credit. So a year or so, it's, it's adding payment history. It's adding um, on-time payments and another mixed credit, uh, a, a mixed account on your credit to boost your credit. Then you got kickoff. That's something that add $12 to your wallet because you got 12 months in a year. And it add a dollar. It add a dollar each month out your wallet you, you got to do it but it's it's a dollar and it's free and it's digital and what it do is build your credit i know y'all thinking how why i see these shits reporting to all three credit bureaus you feel what i'm saying now now you got stuff like primary trade line like new coast direct my Jeweler club ox publishing um hudson chase um Man, it's so many of them. It's so fucking many of them, man. It's so many of them. For example, my jeweler club is one of the most respected, one of the most uh, 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 known and popular primary trade line that most people get. And how it works, they give you a $5,000 trade line. What is that? What is they doing? All right, it's a jury company. And once you sign up for it, they give you a $5,000 trade line. Do that mean you finna get the $5,000? No. What you have to do 
you let's say uh you got to buy some over a hundred dollars so let's say they got a necklace for two hundred dollars or a ring for two hundred dollars or whatever any type of jewelry and you purchase that what's gonna happen you got to pay half of that down right so if it's 200 you got to pay 100 and so they're gonna send you a bill each month you know a little bit by a little bit for you can pay it off and they're gonna send you the jury but what this ha what's this doing is showing that you have a five thousand dollar credit line on your credit report you understand what i'm saying so that's amazing you get what i'm saying then after a year or so it'll show that you have that payment history as well all right all right so peep this you guys take something like um new coast direct that's something that sells more than just jewelry it sells different items and these places don't have a lot to choose from because it's for the trade line and they really know what they for you feel what i'm saying they know what they for that's why they really dare but they can't just come out and say that so if you get three or four of those motherfuckers for five thousand ten thousand five thousand you're sitting on twenty thousand dollars you feel what I'm saying? So you owe, let's say you done got all this shit off your history and you owe no money. So your debt to income ratio is zero to 25,000. So you win it, but you got to use this stuff. You can't just let this stuff sit there. You have to use it. So you plan with money. It's like you basically spending money to get your credit score up, but that's how you get it up. It's work. Nothing in life free, but once you get it up, you up. I got so much sauce so when you get your credit up, how to get cash off that shit, it don't make no sense. That's real shit. All right, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it because like I said once again, if y'all want the sauce, y'all search in the description. If you look for it, you shall find. You feel what I'm saying? All that is in the fucking description. So step five, I think I was on five now. I think I was on step five, you can become an authorized user. What is an authorized user? It's when somebody sign you onto their credit card or credit account or whatever. And whatever they done, the payment history they got, the mixed credit they got, the, the cars that they done paid off, the houses that they done paid off, you get all of that on your credit report as long as you're the authorized user. So that's the biggest cheat code ever. Will it boost you up to 800? Probably not. But will it help you by 100, 150, 200 points? Fuck yeah. You can have a 450. You get on somebody with an 800, 750 credit score that's right. Man, they're going to boost you up to about a 700 or something. Now, that's the cheat code. But how do you do that? A lot of people don't trust you. A lot of people not finna let you benefit off of what they done built up, took their whole life to build up. You feel what I'm saying? Or, or they not going to give it to a child that's, that's disrespectful or they kid that, that they know that's not uh, 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 responsible. Um, that's a big thing for people. Um, but the way you can kind of get somebody to make your authorized user, you have to tell them like, I don't want no credit card. I don't want no loan. I don't want anything for you. I just want to boost up my credit. Don't give me nothing that I can use to fuck up your credit. That way you don't have to worry about me. This not taking anything from you. And the way you really get people, how the way I do, I don't like to say a lot of words when it comes to, uh, I hate doing these videos. I hate questions, but I'm doing it because I know y'all need to know. You feel what I'm saying? But, but see, it's like, um, it's like, I like to say less and do more, meaning I'm just going to come up to somebody with two, three hundred dollars and be like, look, make me your primary. Uh, I mean, make me your authorizer user, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, if your shit real good, I come up, uh, up to you with five hundred money. Talk bullshit. Walk. But that's number five. Now, step number six. You just have to learn how to capitalize off of all of everything I told you, how to make everything free for you while you boost your credit. Let me tell you how. If you buy a primary trade line, now there's some sauce that ain't nobody else going to tell y'all. This would make me a little special. There's a little hustle into this now. It's a little hustle. But either way, you're winning. All right. Let's say you buy a primary trade line, right? And let's say you get a nice-ass camera, a nice-ass phone. What I look for is the most expensive thing on that bitch. And I buy that, and I sell it to a site I know. You know, it's a little couple of little sites, you know, you know, a little, you know, a little couple of sites. I sell it to a site I know. That way, let's say if I, 
get an item worth a thousand dollars and they gonna give me uh seven hundred for it. I just give them the thirty dollars a month that they asking for off that seven hundred, but I be done flip that seven hundred three four times and that's cash money and I'm paying them back. They don't know who using their camera, who's using their phone, who wearing that jury. And I got a five, ten thousand, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar trade line off y'all ass. All right. When it comes to card utilization, when it comes to debt to income ratio and, and all of that good shit, you got to buy gas anyway, whether you're going to work, the club, you're thugging, you're picking up people, you're riding, get something to eat, you got the door dash, you got to get food, you got to do all the shit. Instead of doing that shit, paying cash money, do it with your credit card and take that same money that you would have spent anyway and pay off your credit card. That way they see that you're working with it and you're working with it and that way you're not spending none that you won't go spend anyway, but you getting good credit off of that shit. Do that make sense? You can take that with anything. When it comes to disputing, that's how I got a lot of my money. I learned how to dispute. Like I told y'all, I could get anything off my record, so why not go to Verizon Wireless? Why not go Go to T-Mobile. Why not go to all these other phone sites and get the best iPhone they got that, that they're selling for the most and get three or four of those motherfuckers and sell them. Now you got about $20,000, $15,000. But guess what you can do? Guess what you can do? Guess what you can do? You done sold them all. You got $15,000, $20,000. But guess what? You got $30,000, $40,000 that just got put on your credit report about a year later six months to a year later they done put that shit on your credit report now you probably went from an 800 a 750 all the way down to a motherfucking you now you done went down to a 650 you done went down to a 625 you dispute that shit you get that shit off of there your shit gonna go right back up and you could do it again, but I wouldn't expect for you to be too greedy because a lot of these companies going to remember you, even if it's off the credit report, they still not going to let that go through. You feel what I'm saying? But trust and believe after two or three years, you could do it again if you want to. And you don't just get that money and blow it. You take that money, you take that 15000 and you flip that 15000 You take that 20000 you flip that 20000 You take that 1000 Y'all got to think bigger. But see, I'm giving y'all a little bit more than that credit sauce right now. A little bit more than that credit sauce right now. That's what I'm getting. I'm giving y'all a little bit more than just that credit sauce. So with that said, I'm going to end the video right there. But look, look, listen real close, real clear. Listen real close, real clear. Real close, real clear. Listen. I've been hustling on this bitch. I done accumulated so many followers, so many Instagram followers, but I told y'all, y'all was hitting me up so much. Y'all was doing so much that my Instagram got fucked up. My YouTube channel got fucked up. I'm just not getting that back. So I got to be careful with all the sauce when you a boss. You feel me? The games to be sold, not told. And the more I tell y'all, the more that I'm putting myself in jeopardy. If I tell y'all about PPP, SBA, PUA, unemployment, I tell y'all about all of that shit, then it's putting me in jeopardy because eyes on me. That's not y'all face. That's not y'all information. That's not y'all putting that out there. Think about it. If you on YouTube with 100,000 views, it's way easier to get you for a fraud than it is for a person that's out of sight, out of mind, a person that don't do anything. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not doing this for no money. My page is not monetized. You don't see um, motherfucking ads running through this shit. I'm doing this shit to teach all my people how to get to 800 score, how to get your cash up because 2021 is going to be the best time ever for black people, for any race, but I'm black, so you know I'm I, I'm just biased. You feel what I'm saying? But 2021 is gonna be the best year of the most richest black people ever, or people in general. We're learning how to do this shit. We're learning how to get stuff together. Hell, people don't even need record labels. People don't even need uh, 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 filming companies no more. YouTube shows is way better than cable TV shows. You feel me? Way better than satellite shows. People are really making their own shit, their own brand. 
And you better get an LLC. You better get your shit together and get your shit in order because you are a king and you are a queen. And being broke is a joke. And you're not trying to be that. You're trying to break your family generational curse and put some money in y'all family. That money can be passed around and down generation and generation through your last fucking name. You better believe it, man. It's cocky flames. It's flames. It's T-A-B flames. Whatever y'all call me. And I'm motherfucking out. And oh yeah, YouTube disabled my comments too. So all you hackers and bullshitters can't do what y'all do when y'all typing all that stupid shit how do i get a method how do i do the cash at method how do i do this method how do I do this method they see that shit and i didn't disable my comments you stupid motherfuckers gang gang